Hi students, Mrs. Kirk here today. Uh, we're going to talk about pronouns, personal pronouns today. So before we start our lesson, please get out a piece of loose leaf paper and a pen or pencil, and let's talk about pronouns. Okay, today we're talking about personal pronouns. There are several different types of pronouns that you'll learn about this year, but we're going to start with the basics with personal pronouns. The first thing that you want to know is the function of a pronoun. You should be able to explain what a pronoun does. The job of a pronoun, it takes the place of a noun or a group of words that act as a noun. Last week we learned about what nouns are. A pronoun takes the place of a noun or, or words that act as a noun. And so this is the definition you want to get into your notes. If you need a minute or two to copy this down, just simply hit pause or stop. We've also learned what the word, uh, the word root pro means. Pro means for. So a pro noun stands for a noun. So that's one way that our word roots help you unlock the meaning of words. Okay, well why would you use a pronoun when I've encouraged you to use nouns, especially proper nouns in your writing? Here's why. They help your writing flow and improve communication. Pronouns are a tool for good communication. Instead of constantly repeating a proper noun or a noun, you can substitute a pronoun and it makes your speech or your writing flow. Because saying all those nouns can really wear you down. Um, so we want to thank our pronouns for that. All right, here they are, the personal pronouns. All right, you will want to get this chart copied into your notes. I will be looking for this in your notes. First person pronouns um, refer to I, me, my, and mine. These are the singular first person. Second person is you, your, and yours. Third person, he, him, his, she, her, hers, it, and its. On the plural side, we have we, us, our, and ours for first person you, your, and yours for second person, they, them, their, and theirs for third person. So for personal pronouns, we have first, second, and third person, singular, and plural. And you want to get this chart copied into your notes. These are the personal pronouns. So if you're at home, you could just hit pause or stop to give yourself the opportunity to get this handy chart filled in. All right, well, let's take an example of a pronoun. Here you go, we've got this uh, creepy guy here. Edward is a vampire, okay? He is immortal. Here's my pronoun, he, okay? And it is relating to Edward. So he is replacing Edward, all right? Instead of saying Edward is a vampire, Edward is immoral, which is repetitive, we're replacing he with um, the proper noun Edward. We're replacing Edward, the proper noun, with he to help the writing flow. Okay, Edward is what is called the antecedent of the pronoun. It's what's being replaced by the pronoun. Well, what are antecedents, you're wondering? Here's what you need to know. An antecedent is the noun for which a pronoun stands. It's the word that's being replaced. And you absolutely need to get this definition copied into your notes. The word antecedent has the word root ante in it. Ante, which means before. It's the word that comes before the pronoun. So when you're at home watching the video here, you could uh, press pause or stop so that you can get this important definition into your notes. Okay, well, can you find the pronoun and its antecedent in the above sentence? Well, here it is. It is your pronoun. And what's the antecedent of it? Well, ironically, it is the word antecedent. So there you go. Okay, let's find the pronouns and antecedents in these sentences. Tara asked Theodore if blank would lend blank a pen. Okay, well, I need to take a quick break so I can make sure I open this up in the correct format 
so that I can provide some writing on the screen for you. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look. We're going to find the pronouns and antecedents in these sentences. Tara asked Theodore if blank would lend blank a pen. So Tara asked Theodore if he would lend her a pen. Now, he is the pronoun, and its antecedent is Theodore, right there. And her is your pronoun, and the antecedent is over here. It's Tara. Okay, now if you continue that sentence, blank promised to return blank tomorrow. So then you might ask, or you might say, she promised to return it tomorrow. And who is the antecedent of she? Well, it's Tara. And what is the antecedent of it? Well, it's over here. It's the pen. Okay. So let's take a look at another one. Yep. I think we can flip charts. Here we go. Okay. Mrs. Kirk took the kale from the refrigerator and washed it. It's the pronoun that we want. And the antecedent of it is, well, there we go. It's the kale. Blank used blank to make a delicious salad. Well, she used it. What is the antecedent of she? Well, here it is, right up here, Mrs. Kirk. And it, the antecedent of it, well, yeah, it's the kale right there. Awesome. Okay. Let's classify these pronouns. Okay, we've got we, which is a first person Travers, pronoun. Travers, come to the office, please. Jared Travers. A little inter interruption there. It's a first person pronoun, and it's plural. He, she, or it is a third person pronoun, and it's singular. You will need to be able to classify your pronouns when we come into class tomorrow. They is a third person plural pronoun. You, it's second person and it can be singular or plural depending on how it's used. Your assignment for uh, tonight to ensure that you've watched the video and you've gotten this information, I'd like you to write five sentences using a pronoun and an antecedent. And I would also like you to circle the pronoun and draw an arrow to its antecedent, just like the sentences that I had there for you. Uh, you know, I would love it if you could include kale in one of your sentences, too. So this is your assignment. You should have the chart with the pronouns um, and the notes about antecedent and your five sentences that use a pronoun and an antecedent. Again, if you need to rewind the video to see some examples of sentences with antecedents, go right ahead. Questions? Is it better to start a sentence with a noun or a pronoun? Well, that depends on your sentence, but typically it's preferable to start with a noun. Which pronoun is your favorite? Well, I guess it's all about us sometimes, right? We like the pronoun I. And lastly, can we have pizza now? Well, if you've watched your pronoun video and you've done your assignment, sure, you deserve some pizza. And here you go. This pie is for you, folks. And you, well, what kind of pronoun is that? Second person. It could be singular or plural. Enjoy your pizza and enjoy your pronouns. I'll see you in class soon. Bye, folks.